I put up two poems on January the 30th, 2022, uh, to the Anachronisms blog. At Anachronisms with the ZMS.blogspot.com. You can always read along if you want with these if you happen to drop by on more than one occasion and, and feel like it. Yeah, I would. I, I, don't, I, I Visually, I'm better if I see the words, but, uh, you know, so it's helpful to me and I just think that it's easy to find them too you can there's each month you can link to each each month on this on the right hand side of the blog um, 300 and 3499 is this poem anachronism that was posted on the 30th of January 2022 the first two poems that were posted that day I've got two more after this one and I for January 2022 anyway and I do really believe it's called some things that make me cry are poems. And I do really believe that shedding a genuine tear or two is almost always a good thing for me to do. I am certain that I could find some logical way to explain why this is so, but it would probably take a while. So for right now, all I will say about that is that I don't really know why I cry when I do. But I have cried over a breakup or two, for example, and perhaps just a little bit at one or two weddings or over the death of a person or animal with whom I was particularly close, but these are generally things I never shed a single tear at or near. I will, however, let out a really good sob at the end of a really good movie or TV show or find myself with that certain feeling I get directly before shedding a teardrop or two at some single poignant moment, like, say, on a hike as I step perhaps out of a thicket and onto an overlook with a magnificent breathtaking view or when listening to music and a certain song begins or there have been moments as a member of the audience at certain performances like the symphony the opera most any theatrical production especially if it is a musical or even during the opening credits all at the cinema but these examples pretty much exhaust the list of specific moments that I think by the way it's called frisson I think I mean I'm not sure but I just learned this and I've always seen that word anyway it's a shiver it's like a it means it's shiver in French I guess and it's just that feeling that a goosebumpy feeling that sometimes t tears uh, derive from when watching when experiencing something uh, artistic and uh, it just kind of gets to you that's what I that's what not everybody gets those, supposedly. <laughs> this is what I learned on some YouTube uh, clip or other a uh, while back. So, you know, welcome to YouTube. You can learn some stuff here, but not from me, probably. Anyway, but these examples pretty much exhaust the list of specific moments when I find myself in such a way that I am taken over by the act of weeping. And as I mentioned earlier, I definitely believe that it is good and it is healthy to have a cry now and again. I always feel better after rare as it may be that I experience such a thing. Cathartic is what I call the act of doing so, a purging away of some not so good stuff within me so as to refresh. So it must be therefore, so it must therefore be that among my favorite things in general are beauty and art. And also, and more specifically, I suppose I would say, and be there teardrops or not, I would attest that these are things about me which are very true. That I love music and performances of almost any kind. I just remembered that I forgot to mention dance. How dancing, whether done all by myself, alone, or with someone I love, or with a conglomerate of friends, or say, while watching a ballet, or any such production of such humanly movement, can and has at times turned on the veritable waterworks, especially those which in music plays, in which music plays an integral part, in driving cross country, or taking a train, or a plane, so long as there is a window, or taking a hike or a city walk or sitting atop the sand at the beach or going to the movies or watching television and most assuredly that either reading or writing a few pages of poetry there are a lot of things that I must enjoy the most and I do in this life thus far and because of the very existence of each I am grateful and feel most blessedly rich 